Hi and welcome back to to another episode of FTL. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the introduction you managed to hear before my computer decided to just turn off the mic for some reason. But um, I was looking at the antipiers. It's actually for the, it's a defensive drone instead of the two combat drones that we have. So, hopefully we don't have to be dealing with, with enemies on board. Well, talking about enemies on board. So do that. Send him over. Send him. I have them both on, on the med bay. And let's attack with this. Can I control him? No. Okay, so now, now they should be able to, to handle that and survive. Oh, oops. Was targeting the wrong system there. But if we could get two more energy... Actually, I could do that. Yeah, let's let's do that and achieve the robotics. So, uh, recovered one, which is good. The ship explodes, leaving substance, which doesn't matter at all. Let's send him back. Let's send him over here so that he keeps helping with that. And we're good. Alright, I turned off the energy for for that. Oops. Can I move him? No. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. And that's a great spot for me right now because I have very little health. But first, let's check out what they are selling. Energy repair respirator. Crew takes half damage from low oxygen. Scrap recovery arm. Now it's cheap to collect 10% more. Okay, I'm gonna take that and take this. I actually don't use the advanced FTL navigator. I oh, I know where where that one will be useful. The, the final boss, like remembering how it used to be, like I, I think it's gonna be a good, really good for the final boss. So I've got time, so I'm gonna like, start jumping around this section in the center. And I'll need one of you. And this should be a, an easy fight. Then I send him to repair because he's the, the guy that I have currently assigned for that. Send him back to the shield so he can keep training on that. 
and they're down so got some good material oh distressing now fun It appears that the stress beacon is coming from a surface of nearby moons. Your sensors are, are picking a single life form. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked exploring the devastation. You find a lone survivor. In the invite him to join the crew, take him home to his family on a nearby planet in the system. Uh, that's kind of strange. I'm gonna invite him to see what he says. He states that he, ha he was a shield operator before being stranded. He happily offers his services for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. So he knows how to operate a shield. So I can just have him as a straight out repair person so that's good more experience the better so now i just need one more energy which to to get that actually can afford that right now and next up i'm gonna go and start upgrading the shields so now I have enough for, for this. So you arrive at the Sultan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic dis distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FDL travel. They ask if you, your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Yeah, I can participate in this study. Okay, so immediately have to send him up there. So that's bad. So turn off the shields. And five. I don't need to have both of them on. I just need, need one. I got a bit scared because I swapped both and I thought he he died there. Okay, destroyed them. Thanks for the rescue for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush unsuspected passing passerby. Please take these. Anti-personal drone. I can sell that because I already have one. So there we go. Let's have that repair. I'm actually gonna send King to the infirmary first because that's that will help him heal faster. Okay. Okay, that's See what this distress signal is. You arrive to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, Ari. Impulse drivers are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? So, could give them fuel, apologize with. I'll go ahead and give them fuel. Thank you. Perhaps as payment, uh, our engineer can try to optimize your ship reactor's output. So, upgraded the reactor by one. What's the reactor? Engines.
So shields, engines, med bay, oxygen, weapon. Oh, they gave me a, a extra energy, which that's which is pretty good. Can I use some uh, some here? So I have three. Gonna go ahead and get that. And there we go. Yeah, I have time to go around that side. You don't have to hit time to hail the Sultan ship that was waiting for for this beacon before it jumps away. They are a careful race. You come to a quiet part of the Sultan space and then encounter an ancient Sultan wise man who has managed to to harness the power of the spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of a day's work. So I prefer the rockmen out of all three of them. <laughs> I find them the easiest ones to, to deal with. Even though they, they they tend to have the strongest weapons, like the mantis usually uh, uh, get on board uh, my ship, and the the slugs uh, usually have some sort of mind control and tend to harm the the crew members. So that's why I prefer the Rockman. Although this is a pretty easy one compared to what usually he sends. He tends to send a pretty strong adversary. Okay. So there we go. Took him out. So two fuel, one drone, and 22. Uh, when he sees you have emerged victorious, the Sultan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Sultan implodes, sending a blast of wave a blast wave of scrap and salvage drag here from distant worlds in your direction. So got a bunch of scrap from that, which is good. And if I had a hundred I would upgrade it. Right now, it's not necessary. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to the last one. So, 10 missiles for 30 scrap. Yeah. I'll sell that because I do not use missiles on this build. So, as I said, let's upgrade that and let's do that. And let's optimize here. Let's get one more jump before going out of here. Hail them. You held the refuge ship, a sultan ship suddenly jumps in. Sees Let's do that and this. So I feel that I have good enough shields, I'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading my my engines next so that I can I can dodge more often, have an easier time dodging. That's a really bad hit. Anyway, why what, what is that off? Like I didn't realize that the the med bay was off.
There we go. So let's contact the refugees. The refugee ship thanks for you for the assistance and the gesture of goodwill and seeing how effective you dispatch an enemy ship. They offer up what supplies they can spare. Uh, so three fuel, one drone, and eighteen scrap. That's good. So we're gonna spend that on this. So I scared them so much that they decided to just give me some scrap instead of risking my anger. I could have jumped there, but I didn't know if, if the circle was gonna cover. Okay, so next sector, rebel controlled sector. Hmm. So, looks like a pretty straightforward. I'm thinking of like, jumping across. Yeah, like that. And that. That seems like a good plan. Unless I see something that interests me. I'll buy the six fuel. Because it, fuel is more. It's a necessary resource later on. Like the, we've been pretty lucky to get enough fuel from the fights we've had, but the farther we go in, the harder it is to get fuel. So it's a federation encrypted signal being broadcasted from nearby planet. Let's go ahead and send somebody. <laughs> We find a secret federation outpost, they are regrettably out of supplies, but are here to tell you of another secret base. They give you a coordinate. So that's the quests. I'm gonna go ahead and do the distress signals first. You follow the stress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt, you find a small ship trying to maneuver through the field. Okay, you try your best, but once stray rock hits the a key structure of their ship, it breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage what you can before leaving. You try not to think about the lost crew. So since I have such good shields right now, like I didn't take any damage, which is good. But sadly, we, we couldn't save them and get something better. So... I don't have anybody that's good at turning off fire, so I'm gonna just duck and shoot safety survivors and I got a new member so that's even better I'll have him in the in this system then the sensor system so that he can help and keep keep the enemies keep an eye on the enemies okay, so what's here Oh, that's awesome. They repaired my, my hole. After a quick search, you discover a hidden federation space. They offer some supplies in addition to repairing your ship. So, that take two and one. So now we, are, we have enough for, for our drones and we have better evasiveness, which will help. So back on track on what we had, what I had planned. Uh, you cross a rebel at Tomate Scout. Yeah, I'm gonna help them. So five. Keep that up. Okay, so 
since it's damaged, it should have no way of turning back up. And there we go. Took them out. Let's contact the civilian ship. Seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remainder of the ship. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's upgrade and upgrade. So basically just looking to become stronger as as much as I can before going to to the next sector. So this guy should be no problem at all. I have a good enough system here. So my ion blaster is hitting so often that it got through two shields. It would be nice if I could get another Iron Blaster. It doesn't matter if it's a little lower class, so I can uh, get through an even stronger one. Wow, 50. That's good. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have laid unused for quite some time. Okay. A rebel ship in Garden is big and you are ordered to pursue it and prepare to scratch up one more. So, five. I don't know what that is. Let me see what this is. Cannot be targeted. Shields overcharge. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, so he creates a, an extra shield there. That's... That's a cool little thing. I'm glad I have a full crew right now because it makes it a lot easier to to hold things down. Okay, so takes one shield down. Okay, that shield should go down, and there we go. Now I'm damaging directly the their hole. And I sent him over to repair the the drone section, so I, did. I I don't have to deal with my drones turning off. Open those doors. I can come over repair. Actually, gonna move him over here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll I'll take that because it's better than them escaping. I have no idea if I was gonna make it, so... There we go. Let's jump to the next post. Small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transportation rather than come. Yeah, yeah. Let's... I'm actually gonna activate both 
because it, it also has two shields and it has a double. Mm. So I, I just want to get rid of it as quickly as possible so it does not jump away. Fifty-four. Wow, I've got so much crap now. Get out. I should come repair this. So we're gonna have him repair first and heal. So that we don't lose him by a stray missile that happens to hit him. And have him come back here. Oh, he used to be a pilot. That's interesting. But we already have a pilot that's almost level 2, so... Don't really need to worry about that. I'm actually gonna hold on to this in case we find a store. Just to see what we can buy. No, I'm not going to sell drone parts because I, I need the drones for, for my combat. So I'll ignore that station and let's keep going. So, NG control sector. Okay, so we have arrived to the engine space center and we're gonna be ending this episode here since we've gone through two sectors and that's a pretty good jump yeah i see it apparently i can only see it when i'm on the exit but we're halfway through so two more episodes and you should be able to see the final boss that's gonna be a really fun fight so at this point i only have to keep upgrading here i'm probably gonna try to get a second weapon so has at least like two two more here and two two more energy and that's probably gonna be like the one thing that's gonna go on for the rest of this probably like exchange uh like one of the combat drones for something better and uh, actually i have these anti peers that i have to also sell so got a bunch of resources that I need to like improve a little bit before i get to to the final fight so uh, thank you all for watching i hope that you're enjoying and i'll see you next time bye